Ripple dropped $1 billion on G Treasury. That's a company that builds software that tells massive corporations where their cash is sitting across dozens of countries. This is the next step as a takeover of legacy finance infrastructure. G Treasury connects over 13,000 banks. It processes $12.5 trillion in payments every year in over 1,000 companies across 160 countries trust it to manage their money. So why does a blockchain company want this? Well, here's the problem that Ripple sees. A corporate treasurer with cash scattered across 30 countries can't get a clear picture of where their assets are sitting without waiting a long time. And if they're moving that cash, it's even worse. A wire from the US to Asia takes three to five days, fees free to 7% of the transfer, and through the whole process, nobody knows exactly where the money actually is. Blockchain settles in seconds, works 24 hours a day, and costs almost nothing. But you can't walk into a Fortune 500 company and tell the CFO to rebuild everything around blockchain. These organizations have compliance requirements and deeply embedded systems. G Treasury solves that problem, and it's already installed, finance teams trust it, and the workflows are built all around it. So Ripple didn't just buy technology, in this case, they also bought the relationships and the embedded access. The smart part about this is that Ripple isn't forcing anyone to abandon traditional bank. G Treasury will still connect to SWIFT and ACH, but it also connects to blockchain rails, and treasurers can choose which one they want to use based on the situation. For a routine domestic payment, they can use traditional banking if they want to, but an urgent international payment can use the blockchain option. They'll have the same interface with multiple rails, and with blockchain benefits, it makes sense that more transactions will start to make use of that option. This deal makes more sense when you see what else Ripple has been acquired. This isn't one purchase, but really part of a coordinated strategy. Medico came first when they bought it back in May of 23 for $250 million. Medico builds institutional custody where large institutions can store digital assets securely. Banks don't want to move meaningful value through blockchain without somewhere safe to store it. Hidden Road came next for $1.25 billion, and now they named it Ripple Prime. They clear over $3 trillion annually across Forex, crypto, derivatives, and fixed income. And they have over 300 institutional clients moving billions of dollars daily. RLUSD, which is Ripple Stablecoin, now works as collateral across Ripple Prime's products, and institutions can use stablecoin holdings across leverage, trade derivatives, and they can also earn yield on capital that would otherwise sit idle. And then they also acquired Rail in August of 2025 for $200 million. And that's built for B2B stablecoin payments, high-frequency cross-border transactions, and it lets companies bypass correspondent banking entirely for certain transfers. Now imagine how all this works as a unified system. A multinational company can use G Treasury to see $50 million sitting idle in one of their subsidiaries that won't need it for 60 days. They can move that cash with rail stablecoin infrastructure and have it settle in minutes, and the cost savings could hit 60 to 90% compared to traditional wires depending on the specifics. 